Welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley. I'm gonna be completely real. Definitely started recording earlier, did the whole intro, whatever, made it to 5 p.m. And then I realized I wasn't recording. But it's fine. We're just gonna start from here. So, plan of attack is we're gonna try and get the $2,000 we need to upgrade our axe at Clint's. Possibly, we're gonna get another $2,000 to upgrade the pickaxe. Then, we are gonna clear out a section of our farm, which is why we need the axe, um, to make a chicken coop. And so tomorrow, I already tried to do it today, but she wasn't there. We're going to run to um, Robin's and see what exactly we need for the coop. So we don't repeat the whole silo fiasco and spend two episodes just getting a silo built. Don't think we're going to get the coop built in this episode. I'd be really shocked if we managed to have what we needed, especially after needing the to get the money for the tools, upgrades, and yada yada. We're going to do our best. That's where we're fishing. It's probably going to be a lot of fishing this episode, just because that's the easiest way to make money at the moment, at least. Okay, we have used up all of our energy for today. We've got a pretty decent haul of fish, I'd say. Let's run back and see how much we get in the floor. We're going to head off to bed. And then first thing, well, you know, after the usual watering plants and whatnot, we're going to run to Robin's and see what all we need to get for the coop. I don't remember. I think it probably costs around like 10000 for the coop. Give or take. It could be more. It could be less. Hopefully it's less. And that's not including the price of a chicken. So that's even better. Goal is just to get a chicken coop as fast as possible and at least one chicken. I don't know if I should be saving sea jellies, but we want to get chickens as fast as possible just so then we can start earning a little bit more money from their eggs and whatnot. Okay. A thousand dollars for the fish is not bad. So if we manage to catch as much as we did today, we should be able to get it by tomorrow. Okay, plants are all watered. Now let's go give our dog some water and head to Robin's. Okay, well since her thing doesn't open until nine, we're gonna come and catch a few fish over here since we got a whole hour to kill. Okay, let's go see what we need for this coop. Please be in here. Yay! Okay. Oh, it's only 4,000. Okay. We can do that. That means technically, even if we also want to upgrade the pickaxe, we only need to get 8,000. We're close to getting 2,000 anyways. More, most likely, we'll be able to get that by the end of the day anyways. We might be able to even do the axe today because we only need 30 more dollars, basically 20 at this point. I might catch enough to get us to the 2000 mark, sprint up and go get our copper bars and then run over to Clint's and get that started today. So then we, cause that takes a couple days anyways. So we're still gonna have a couple days to get more money. Yeah, we should be golden then. Okay, we have the 2000, I'm sprinting back to the farm and we are taking our axe to Clint. Okay, we're gonna make a pit stop to see Harvey because I always forget. Hey. Okay. On our way to Clint. Clint. Yay. Okay. Our axe is getting upgraded now. I honestly, I think I'm just gonna go and fish up by the lake. I don't know if those. I don't know if the fish have different value based off of where they get it from. Like, in like. Are ocean fish more valuable than river fish? I have no idea, but I'm just gonna fish up at the lake because I think technically it's closer to my house, so we should be able to fish later. I could be totally wrong from all of that also. I think I'm about to disturb Sebastian's secret spot without meaning to. Hey, Sebastian, what's up? My defense, I was here first, so you could have gone somewhere else. Okay, we used up all our energy again, just fishing, so hopefully we managed to get more money this time. I'm gonna sprint to the community center because I did catch a fish we need for that. And then we're gonna go see how much we made. Oh, <gasps> we made even more than yesterday. Yay. Okay. Oh, we got some green beans today. That will help our money. Realistically here, I think it'll probably take us at least another two days of fishing to get up to 4,000. Honestly, it might even take us three, depending on how good it is. I think the plan is gonna be fish until we get the ax back, not spend literally any other money. I think we're just gonna wait to do the pickaxe. And then once we get the ax back, which is either tomorrow or the day after, I don't remember. And then we're gonna start breaking down stuff and using the time to get the rocks and the wood we need then. Then we're just gonna continue after we get 
the amount of wooden stuff we need just to fish, I think. Seems like the best way to get money right now. I I can't think of another one. But how we're going to do it is I think we fish at the ocean until we can't sell stuff to Willy. Like until his shop closes. And then we head up to the lake. And we start fishing there until we're done. I don't actually know if you get more money selling to Willy or if you get more money just putting it in the little shipping container. We used up our energy a lot quicker than we have the past couple days, but we made it to almost $3,000 anyways, and we still have a couple fish that we caught after Willy closed. So we're at least going to be over the $3,000 mark. So honestly by the end of tomorrow we should have the four thousand i am gonna try and go plant the couple carrot seeds i found hopefully i don't completely ruin my energy for the next day but we also have some dandelions that we can sell so we should make at least enough to push us over to probably around 3500 or so honestly well we still have a little bit of time in the day i think i'm gonna spend some of it foraging that will also, again, like I've said many times this episode, help giving us a little extra money. At this rate, any bit of money we can get is going to be very helpful. So, oh well, you know, you're just going to have to keep listening to it. We are so close to having enough. Fresh cauliflower. <gasps> I just have a cauliflower. How much was she going to give me? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, stop watering. Oh, it doesn't say. Well... I guess we'll bring this to her. Okay, let's run down and give the cauliflower to her. We're gonna sprint over to Clint's and grab our axe. We'll see how much she gives us for the cauliflower. If it, it's probably like 50 gold or something like that. I think usually the quests are around 50 to 100. So it's not gonna push us over the edge by any means, but hey, it's still something. But that means that we should be, oh, hey Shane. That's rude. Okay, well, on that note, let's actually fish until she opens her dang door. We'll go give her the cauliflower, run over to Clint's, and then we're gonna go down and sell whatever we get here to Willy. And if we do manage to get 4,000, which I'm sure we will, before we run out of energy, then I'm gonna spend the rest of the day chopping like wood and rocks and all that stuff. So then maybe by the end of tomorrow, or maybe just tomorrow, we should be able to build that coop. Yay! Okay, how much does she give me? Oh! Okay, well we have enough for the coop. <laughs> On that note, we're going to get this axe and we are just going to spend today chopping wood and stuff. Actually, now that we have some extra time, I'm going to sprint up and see how much wood and rocks we actually need. Just so I don't, again... Cause a whole fiasco like the silo. Yay! I am still gonna wait to do the pickaxe. Just the coop's more important to me right now. Okay, 300 wood and 100 stone. We have a little bit of each, I think, already, so that shouldn't be too bad. Oh boy, we. Okay. We might need to add a Gunther trip into our uh, list of to dos. Okay. So we need roughly 100 more wood and about. 40 more rocks but we should honestly be able to get that tomorrow i don't see why we wouldn't be able to as usual i went and spent some leftover time foraging and as you can see in my inventory we got some goodies i think today since it's only 5 p.m um we're gonna spend some time talking to everyone Ooh, I should have thought about going to visit Gunther, but that's okay. We can add that to tomorrow's goal. Have I talked to Harvey at all today? I don't think so. I'm assuming he's this closed. Yeah, he closes at three. Jeez. Is he in here? No, that's Pierre. Mm. Okay, we talked to some people. Uh, Elliot, this is why I don't like you. Blocking me in the doors. Let's go talk to Alex. Why not? He's right here. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of him. Hey, George. Okay. Well, I pretty much said hello to everyone. I couldn't find Harvey. I did try. I promise. You know, my bad, guys. My bad. Okay. Well, anyways. I think we've gotten a pretty decent haul. Um, We should 
be able to get enough wood and rocks, stone, whatever, tomorrow. I, I'm gonna be so annoyed if we don't, <laughs> but we shouldn't be totally broke by the end of this after all the foraging stuff I found today and the few little extra fish I got before. But we are literally gonna do no fishing tomorrow and we are strictly going to water our plants. Imagine I just sold all the wood. Oof. We're gonna strictly cut trees and hit rocks. Oh my god. We made almost $2,000 just from foraging. Holy. We even have enough to do the coop and upgrade the pickaxe now. Oh my god. Okay. Plants are all watered. Gonna go give some water to our dog as usual. And conveniently, let's just knock down this tree. Why not? Okay, we did it. We have enough wood and we have enough rocks. Uh, we got pretty close, but we did it. So you know what that means. We are heading straight for uh, Robins, but I'm also gonna grab all the stuff we can take to Gunther. Okay, I think that's everything. And, and we are gonna take our copper and we're gonna go upgrade our pickaxe as well. I, this went so much better than I was expecting. I'm gonna be completely honest. Now, the only thing that could make this go wrong, and I shouldn't even say this because I'm gonna jinx myself, is if she for some reason is not in her shop today. I don't know why she wouldn't be. I don't feel like they close on Saturdays, you know? But this is a moment of truth. Hallelujah. I would like a coop, please. Right. I want to put it literally like... I want to put it right there. I think we can move these. Right? Doesn't it say that in this? Oh, it, okay. Well, we'll find out. Okay, now sprinting down to Clint's. Upgrading the pickaxe. Clint! Oh, Lewis is here. Hey. Yay! Okay. That is so exciting. That's something I talked about doing last episode and I did not think it would happen already. Okay. <gasps> Pit stop. I see Harvey. Hey. Nope. Bye. What's our level with him now? Do we have a heart with him? No. <laughs> well, eventually it'll happen. Okay, we have a reward. <gasps> Melon seeds and a chicken statue. Yay. Now that I think about it, I probably should have saved a little extra wood so that I can make a chest, but it's okay. <laughs> I am almost 100% certain that that chest is packed full. Oh, okay. It's not as full as I thought it was. That's fine. I'm going to place my chicken statue right there, because why not? Don't know where else I'd put it, so it's going there. Oh, what are you doing all the way down here, frickers? You're never this far down. Hello. Okay, I'm going to do something a little risky. Usually I do this at night, but I remembered about the trash can lid hat. So we're going to run around really quick, and we're going to ru rummage through people's trash sounds a little crazier than it actually is. See, I just don't want people to yell at me. So, ooh. Yep, yeah, no, we're not checking those yet. Alex is gonna make fun of us. Never gonna let me live that one down. Well, so far there is no um, trash can lid hat. Alex, I would love for you to not stand right there. Are there any other trash cans besides those last two? Robin probably has one. I don't know for sure, but I... Mm, Alex, can you pretty please get out of the way? <gasps> He's leaving. Okay, well that was a waste of time. <laughs> Honestly, we accomplished a lot more than I thought we would today. I did not anticipate being able to build the coop and upgrade both our axe and pickaxe today. I figured we'd have to split it up into at least two episodes, but 
we got pretty lucky. I somehow got $350 for a cauliflower, so that was pretty epic. Um, did some planting, did all that. I think we did pretty dang good. So, we accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, and with that, I think I'm just going to end it here. Next time we come around, Robin's going to be working on our coop, and we should be able to get chickens. Then, hopefully, we're going to have a little bit more money coming in once they start actually laying the eggs every day. But, yeah. With that, I think we're just going to let the night go, and I'm going to say bye. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next week for some more Stardew Valley. Bye!